Alright. We should be good to go, I hope. I want to see the chat if he works today. I think I know the reason why I didn't work during Twitch stream. I think it was because um, I was still actually signed into my Twitch account on freaking Streamlabs. So <laughs> when I tried putting in the stuff for my chat box and my alert box, it was all going to the Twitch ones and not my YouTube ones, which is the reason why I didn't work. So very smart choice for me there. <laughs> but uh, now that I'm back on YouTube, hopefully it'll work again. Uh, also, hello, good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, on our new Sunday series, I guess we'll make this. I, I don't know how long the campaign's going to take, so we might... This might be done in one episode if it's only two hours long. But I feel like it's probably going to be a bit longer than that. Um, considering the fact that it's a campaign mode. And I, I know you got to play through, like, I think most factions in the game and all this other stuff. So, expect it to take a while, at least. Not crazy long, but some amount of length. So we've got plenty of stuff to do. Uh, okay, so... I'll be doing this for, I guess, six minutes. We'll give, uh, we'll give a few minutes, see if you want to jump in. Say hello. Uh, to anyone who's already here, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. Let yourselves be known in the chat. Your presence shall be known. Should be. It's creepy when people are watching my stream and haven't said anything. <laughs> no, it's okay. If you want to do that, that's absolutely cool. But, you know, don't be, don't be afraid to let yourself known. We're all here to have a good time in the end of it, so... That's, uh, that's how I want it to be. Okay. So did I say on Twitter I was doing this? Going live a few minutes, everyone coming in and make yourself comfy. Yeah, okay. I've already made my obligatory tweet saying I'm doing the cool thing. Uh, doesn't say I'm streaming there, but I think that's fine. I think. I did try and test the message actually, see if the. Hang on, let me test another one. Let me. Let me do another E. <laughs> see if it pops up. Because I do have a chat box. There we go, cool, okay, it does work. And Christ, alright, I was looking at another. I did not want to have another stream where the chat did not work. Or is it working? Yeah, it is, okay, we are just a bit. a bit delayed behind, I guess. Hope it's not too bad for you, your guys' end. Obviously, on my end, it makes plenty of sense, but... Yeah, okay. So that works fine. Uh, then, if we transition over to this scene... There you go. Everything changes back. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Swords and Sandals Crusader. The classic 2007 spin-off game, I guess, of the Swords and Sandals franchise. I've already talked before. Played many games of. Created by Oliver Joyce, the initial creator of Swords and Sandals. This right here is a Flash series. Uh, the Sword and Sandals in general is a Flash series uh, back on a lot of games like new, like sites like Newgrounds and many other Flash sites on the internet. Fizzy.com was a big one for me. And they just have this really interesting appeal to them. The graphics I thought was really interesting. Like, they're not the best ones in the world by any means. Not like anything like PlayStation 4 quality games you get these days. But, you know, for the time of being a small little child, finding a game on the internet, it was really charming. Uh, so the majority of Sword and Sandals games are like main combat games, one gladiator against another gladiator. This one's a bit different. It's more of like a sort of army management sort of game. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example to compare to it. Um, <laughs> you can probably tell I haven't, de I haven't delved too much into that genre, but yeah, it's essentially a sort of command and conquer kind of game. So you build up an army, you go to other places, you raid other people's towns, and you kind of go from there, really. Uh, for anyone who saw my sword and sandals pirates playthrough a few years ago and i played for that game uh, it's essentially that except there's no boats it's uh, all on land in one area so that's like you're probably your best idea to know how it all works but anyway i've been talking for long enough we're gonna jump in we're gonna play the campaign gonna start a new one hopefully the audio is still okay for everybody all right. Chapter 1, Lion of Fatal. When a mighty blow, the Emperor Antares was slain. The Impossible had become the possible. Man of Gladiator Outfear slew the Dark Tyrant two years ago to save his defeat. His Colosseum collapsed to ruin the Dark Lines of it. I can't catch <laughs> Um Okay, so, essentially, yeah, so this takes place after Sword Sandals 2, when the Gladiator we played as actually beat Emperor Antares. And it takes place two years later, I believe, where we're now playing as uh, King Leon Leono? Leono? I believe. 
And there's rumors that Antares has returned again. So we're going to start here. Okay, mission one, the war chest. Raise 200 gold pieces for your treasury. Rumors about the growing darkness in the south mean soon it may be time to raise a mighty army to defend kingdom lands. 200 gold pieces in your treasury should see it done. But beware, the Roman barbarian hordes from the frozen north. I think those are the Sons of Frost, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we get six gold a turn, and we currently have six gold right now. So, I think the main strategy here is we just try and take over other pieces of the land, because that increases our income. We don't really have a, an army right now, I don't think. So, <laughs> I think we're just kind of strolling around, trying to get the money for an army. So, I think my best bet is just to completely ignore... Uh, Bors the Mighty, I believe he's called. Completely get away from him. Just keep claiming land. Get all the money I need. One more move. Hey! <laughs> I did it! Beat the game! No, okay. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, what am I getting on? Uh, Discord. Oh yeah, other people in the stream, but not me, good. Uh, with an overflowing treasury, you are able to begin your war effort confident in the knowledge the kingdom will be able to support its troops in the dark days ahead. Cool. When you're a cruel sailor, you conquer the This game's got some great music, by the way. Uh, the whole Sword and franchise is known for like the main, um, the main theme of it, with the whole uh, catchphrase and everything, but... I really like the Crusaders one. Probably because there's, like there's like an actual song to that one, which I've got on my iPod because it's really, really good. Um, okay, so we got three skill points. Uh, what? I can't remember what some of these do. It doesn't want to tell me what they do. Okay, so King Leonu seems to like leadership and airstrikes to begin with. I think Mercantile means you get things for less in the shop. Which I think is quite nice. I'm going to buy two of those. And... Maybe... Defensive tactics? Okay. <laughs> I think I've already found one thing I'm hoping the uh, the Redux version maybe clears up. The whole upgrade system. Uh, hopefully, it details you what they all do. Because I have no idea what those abilities do. Okay, the latest from the south is that ghosts and skeletons have been seen uh, wandering the moors, killing cattle and scaring the bejesus out of villagers. This is deeply troubling for the superstitious folk of the kingdom, who have not seen a war in years. With your new war chest set to work raising the mighty kingdom army once more. As always, watch for the barbarian hordes of the Sons of Frost. Okay. Uh, must contain at least 20 light infantry, 5 ranged troops, and 5 heavy infantry. Alright. So we still don't have to fight yet. We could do, but we're not going to. Um, wait, can I just, can I just like buy? I think. Wait, do I have to go back here to do it? Or can I buy it? Uh, I think I need to go back to the kingdom to do it. Uh, oh yeah, I can dig for treasure too. Now sets up camp and begins to dig. Days pass and little is found. However, on the fifth day of digging, you discover a small, valuable cache of treasure. All right. Uh, by troops. So we need 20 light infantry. Bought too many. Okay. Oh, now I've got two less. Oh god, it's got a really sensitive push button. Alright. Um, then we need five. Are you heavy? Yeah, you're heavy infantry. So we're going to have to get a bit more for you. Okay. Let's move and get some more months then. Okay. What if we go over here who attack us? Nope, he's just going to stay there and be a good boy. That's nice. Uh, oh god, I didn't mean to move. Oh, wait, no, okay, I can. I can buy troops. Wherever I am. Okay, so. Ah! <laughs> Keep clicking the button too much. And now I've clicked too little. I'm just trying to gently tap it. Damn it. Oh, the sensitivity on that is way off. I say way off, but it really isn't that bad. Oh. I didn't buy a single heavy infantry. What the hell is going on there? 
Uh, 40 troops stand before you, loyal and keen. Apparently. Uh, many are not battle-tested, but you fear all too soon they will be. Um, it's not because they bought like too many of the other troops. They're like, yeah, sure, we'll count. I really don't know. Um, okay. okay. And there's, there's no... Yeah, there's no highlights about what any of these do. Damn it. What's the difference between weapon smith and offensive tactics? They both sound like the sort of same ability. I get archery too. I think archery increases the archery attack, which I do like a lot in this game. All right, the rampaging hordes. Your soldiers are armed and ready for battle. Your next goal is to stop Boris and his sons of frost from terrorizing your people and burning your farmland. He now has control of mighty polar barbarian troops, brutish cavalry troops who ride great polar bears. Fortunately, your cavalry is still fighting in the Crusaders to the south. You must raise your army, meet Boris on the field, fee, field, is that supposed to be field, and send them back to Warhammer with a taste of kingdom bravery and resilience. All right. Now we gotta fight the fight the, the dude. Speaking of dude, look at the dude who's arrived when it decides to catch up. I think I'm speaking a little bit ahead of it, but hey, Padre, welcome, dude. Um, all right, what does my army look like? Can I not check? Which is button down here? I don't want to press that in the case I've just like X out the game entirely. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go in here to find. Okay, I've, I've got five. I've got thirty, and I got five. I don't think I had those amount, but whatever. M maybe we picked up some troops along the way. They were just we were handing out flies and like, yes, this seems like a great idea. I'm gonna go fight for this random stranger. Oh! With no garrison to defend it, Galasone has fallen to Bors the Mighty. Hmm. Very well. You forced my hand here, Bors. Uh, right out, meet him on the field. I mean, I kind of bumped into him, so it makes sense I want to do it. Uh, the table is served, the wine is poured, we come to it at last, the great feast of our time. 77% chance of victory, thanks to the uh, incredibly wise little fat kid. Perfect stuff. Um, so I've got... A lot more light infantry. He has one heavy infantry. One ranged troop. He doesn't have any cavalry. I thought the whole... <laughs> I thought, like, the whole beginning bit was like, Oh, they have polar bear riders now, and you're going to be screwed. It's like, well, he doesn't have any. They die off or something? I mean, the, the the landscape got, like, really warm all of a sudden, so maybe they died of global warming. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually fight this guy. I'm terribly vexed. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's send the light infantry in with a normal attack. Oh god. And you sons of frost, your wives are here. Freedom killed. And that completely cancels our turn as well. Okay. Three troops injured. One troop injured. Okay. Fine. If you want to have it that way, we'll call an airstrike on you. There you go. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my leg! <laughs> I just love the sound effects. Hey, we got one. All right. What is this debauchery of a game, you bucko? Uh, this is Swords and Sandals Crusader. Uh, it's part of the collection of other Swords and Sandals games I played on the channel in the past, like a collection of Flash games that were made back in the 2005 era and still going to this day. Um, it's essentially a sort of, as you can see, it's a very army management sort of game. Grab your troops, you rally them up, and you get them fighting each other. Uh, it looks cute, it looks very flash-like, but I, I guess at this point it's more of a... I think at this rate it's just, it's more of a cute nod than a massive gra graphical improvement. It's a good reflection on the days, the days of old. But yeah, I think that's basically it. I go into story reasons, but uh, we'd be here a very long time. <laughs> oh. Okay, then we got him. And then morale's gone down, so we might have... I just like one arch left, to be fair. <laughs> that was quick. It didn't give enough time to, like, embrace death. It was just done. Back to the field. <laughs> it was like the, the JoJo to be continued meme, where it just it stops just before it gets shot. Cut straight forward. All right. You defeated Bors the Mighty in battle and captured the province of Gallastones. He flees to his home stronghold of Warmhaven. Yay! 
We win the, the mission. Your men fought bravely this day against the Sons of Frost and were victorious. There will be no glory this day for Boris. And you know now that your soldiers can clearly handle themselves in a fight. Because I'm such a good leader, yes. Uh, also, Padre, is my volume and everything alright? If you don't mind me asking. Just so, I'm, just so I know. Uh, I might just upgrade the airstrike a bit more. Oh, I, oh yeah, I can only go up Sun Mount, can't I? Yeah, I forgot about that. Forgot the game limits you based on chapters, I think. So when we get to the next chapter, we'll be able to go a bit further, I think. Alright. Search for the Angel. Uh, late in the month, Silver Circle Knights return from the Crusades in the south with wild tales of beastmen and great apes. The latest news is Arglax, former overseer of the gladiatorial arena of Elder Half, has raised an army and begun seizing power in the south. Knights also petition you to let them search for the fabled Book of Sandalfon, Holy relic, which may allow you to uh, petition the Archangel Sandolphin to fight for the kingdom. Uh, find the book of Sandolphin, rumored to be in the desert somewhere to the south, within 20 minutes. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Awesome. Thank you. Alright. I've got Argalax to deal with. So, it's in the desert, which is <laughs> right where he is. So, I might have to seize some areas from him if, I, if he happens to invade him. Oh no, he's gonna stay like a good boy. Okay, that's that helps. No, he's not moving. Arglax, you're not being a good boy anymore. Uh, a cash steps lies beyond your borders. You must conquer your way. Oh wait, hang on. Really? <laughs> I gotta conquer this one first. There's like a little gap. Oh, now he's got it. Thanks, game. Thanks, because I had to get hand off. You have stopped me from grabbing a cash steps. Fine, I'll take to cash desert then. Maybe the book's here. The book wasn't here. Alright, maybe it's in the cache. Oh, he's leaving troops behind as well. I mean, that's what the flags means. It means he puts some troops there to defend those spots. Uh, and by some, I mean four. Yeah, we're going to auto battle. There you go, cool. <laughs> I was about to say, if we couldn't beat four troops, then that would be a whole lot of bad. Oh, you come across a strange old man wandering through the woods. Wary of sorcerers, but curious nonetheless, you approach and ask him to perform some magic for you. He looks at you archly and states, You are aware I am not a real wizard, but an actor pretending to be a wizard. His answer not being good enough for you, you harass him some more. Fed up, he turns four of your men into totes. <laughs> okay, so I guess he kind of was a wizard then. Oh, sorry, wait, he turns four of them, but how come I lost seven? Did he ever feel like die of boredom or something? Oh, there you go. I've discovered the book of Sandalphon. There you go. It was literally that spot I was trying to go to. Of course it was. Alright. The Silver Circle Knights finally uncover the lost book in the desert heat of the Akash Steps. And with great speed return to Fator. You tremble slightly as you behold the ancient tome and wonder about the great power that may aid you should Sandalphon be summoned. <laughs> toad to poisoning. Yeah, that's... That is a good one, to be fair. That's a likely one. Um, what does Colossus Mastery do? Oh, God. It's weird that this game doesn't specify what some of these do. It's really odd. Um, can I upgrade him any further? No, we're still maxed out. Okay. Well, I guess we'll max out defensive tactics. Maybe go for some leadership skills. Because, of course, I can be a wonderful leader. I'm sure. Maybe. Oh. Oh, Padre. You you uh, shared it in the, the, the chat. That's cute. Very, very nice of you. Very nice. And my buddy, Skidot's Chaos, is having a field day. Horribly managing armies of dudes wearing sandals. Beats me, but go show the good stuff up and up your war strategy tips. Oh boy, yes, the greatest war strategy tips. Alright. Thanks for that though, bud, I really appreciate that. Uh, okay, Colossus of the Desert. Your priests have made contact with the Archangel uh, Sandolphin, who has agreed to join the Kingdom cause. Not a moment too soon, for it seems Arglax and the Beast Force are massing in great numbers. Uh, rumor spreads about a mighty colossal ape some 70 feet high. Arglax, it is well known, was an ally of the Fallen Emperor Antares. You must defeat his campaign army and find out why he is causing so much trouble in the south. Uh, also, beware of the troublesome Sons of Frost. Whilst you don't need to defeat them, they may still be a threat. Okay, so. Build a siege engine and destroy the Beast Force stronghold at Taj Brandir. Alright, we get to raid some castles now. 
Oh yes, you did share it. Still so going on about me horribly managing, <laughs> horribly managing armies wearing sandals. All right. So how much is it for the siege engine? I think it's like a hundred, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now I only want to buy one game. Thank you. Can I buy anything else without the game making me want to buy more? Uh, okay, now it's being normal. <laughs> when I tapped this initially, it would um, hold it down for longer, so I'd buy more troops than I wanted to. There was, like, no control of it. But now, apparently, it wants to work again. Maybe it's because it has an audience now to be in front of. They're like, oh, it must look good. It must look like the game works and doesn't cause problems. The Sandal Warrior shall rise, yes. We shall. The Kingdom of Sandals. Alright. So... Let's move around a bit. Get some money, I think. Buy some more troops. Can I buy... Oh, I can buy cavalry now. Uh, I'll buy two heavies, I think. Yeah. I think we're just going to go straight to Arglax's castle, because, I mean, he's he doesn't really care much about it. He's already left it alone. Okay, just move down to the castle. Uh oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, God, 59% chance of victory. He's got a morale boost because he's in desert. Okay, uh, he's got six light infantry, one ranged troop. Why, why do I have... I have a Colossus. Why has he got a 59% chance? That there's concern of this? Or maybe it's because... No, no, he's going to be hiding something. Alright, well, I'm going to take the field. That way we can play the Siege mini game as well. Alright. I'm going to try and aim it at the, the walls, which is not easy to do. Okay. Oh, God. This is painful. Okay, there you go. No hit on the wall. So I've got to click once with my uh, mouse to get it stopped, and I've got to press again as that bar rises to try and get the power of it. All the while, I'm losing troops in the background, which is wonderful. Yeah, you have a damn dirty ape, you damn dirty ape. Lying to me the whole time. All right. Um, let's send the Silver Circle Knights forward. We'll use a cautious attack. He's going to send in his infantry. Okay. That's alright for a start. We've got much stronger arrows. Oh, to be fair, they both got the same arrows. I still don't know like, why some of them are flaming and the others aren't. I, I, I assume that was like... I, I assume that was part of the um, the upgrading your arrows. It would like make them different. Just to know that they are, like, upgraded and stronger, but I, I have no idea at this point. King Kong's reign shall end. Lord Godzilla shall rise above the rest. I just, I can't know if there is, like, a Godzilla-like character in this. We've got an angel with a sword. That's close enough. I'll use an airstrike. Try and take out the infantry. <laughs> Alright. Take out most of the infantry, apparently. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Alright. If we can take out all the light infantry, we get a one-on-one -on -one with the Colossus, and that'll be fun. Um, okay, let's send in uh, light infantry. Oh, war drums. Kingdom's been demoralized. Well, your kingdom's dead. <laughs> Who's laughing now? All right, let's send in the Archangel. Oh, he's going to use war drums again. Of course you are. I don't know why he's draining me of all my points. I guess I lose morale. In case the the ape decides to tear my my ass a new one. Uh, okay, let's go for a normal attack. Here we go. This ape has a lot more uh, health than mine, though. But then again, mine mine's better. <laughs> I think mine had better attack and defense actually, so I think that kind of makes up for it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well. I'm streaming on YouTube, so I've got to say the obligatory this is PG thirteen and up because YouTube like to take people's videos down because they don't consider it applicable so screw you youtube you ass um uh this is pg-13 up no, there you go enjoy uh he successfully captured Argus's home stronghold of taj brand here he's been defeated and thrown from power cool you know, he's gone now but that's all i need to do for that mission so we don't have to worry about it 
So if we're playing like the, the Conquer the Realm mode, which is when it's like there's no story elements, you're just playing the game normally. Uh, it would be until every other team is gone. Uh, so we'd have to go and take out the Sun's Frost afterwards, but not in this case. We just had to do what the task gave us, and that's all sorted. In a battle for the ages, Sandalfon and the Primate meet on the field. The Heavenly Warrior is victorious, and a mighty cheer is raised as Arglax surrenders to your forces. He's taken to your dungeons for questioning, and although says very little, he does utter four words that scare you to the very core. Emperor Antares has returned. Again. <laughs> Do that. He's only died once so far, so it's not like a reoccurring villain yet. So I can't upgrade my airstrike. Uh, I guess we'll go with. So what does Siege do? Is it just more damage? I, I guess it means I got to do less than mini games. So that's not too bad. Uh, okay, Sword Hand of the Night. Beast Lord's words echo along into the night. Antares' return. New is die. Antares waged war against the kingdom many years ago, and it was only with the combined might of many allies that he was defeated. How he's returned from his death is a mystery. Who's not but working Lano, a villain with a dark axe, and that can't catch up with all the writing. Uh, okay, I think it's to do with the Temple of Church, this one. Sir Belgrave. Uh, an ambitious knight as he makes his claim for power. So now we get to play as a new character. Alright. So. Uh, politics of faith. With the death of Vrain's Galrin, a power struggle has erupted in Templar Church. As one of the most promising young knights in the Order, you must raise support for your cause quickly before other rival knights lay claim to the throne. By riding to the crucial voting chapters of the Templar Church scattered throughout Brandor, gather your finest knights and move quickly if you are to fulfill your ambition of becoming leader of the Templar Church. Control the provinces of Handoff, Sewell's Gateway, Archimagius, and Pilfian Cove in 15 turns. Right. Okay. I've still got someone to fight against, which is wonderful. Just what I need in this, need this in this time. Uh. Okay. Where's well, handoffs there? So we're gonna claim handoff. Okay. Uh. Souls Gateway. Where has Souls Gateway? Souls Gateway. Hello. Apophian Cove's down there. Archmagus is there. Okay, so we'll claim that one too. I think Souls Gateway is up there somewhere, probably. I might have to go for an army or two to get there, which would suck. Okay, uh, so I've got all of them besides Souls Gateway. Where is Souls Gateway? It's up there? Are you kidding me? <laughs> why? Why does? Why is there a thing? For his kingdom, which is for some reason up next to the Sons of Frost castle. Like, if it's that close, you probably don't deserve to trust it to begin with. I'm just saying. Like, you know, the Dracondia and Archmagius and Handoff, yeah, you know, they make pretty sense. They're right next to each other. Heck, even Pilfi and Cove, it's just down by the sea, just outside the kingdom. That's in the enemy territory. And not even just, like, slightly in it, right in the heart of it. Jesus, dude. Alright, well, I guess we're going this way, then, to try and get there. Do I actually have an army? Hang on, let me check. Okay, I've got some, uh, I've got some cavalry. Cool. Alright, so I've actually got something I can use. Thank Christ, because if I didn't, I would be screwed. Um, can I buy more? Oh, I can, yes. Okay, nice. Alright, let's go through the box stench. Uh, ooh. Okay, four cavalry troops joined your army. I don't think I was supposed to get these guys. Late one evening, four knights approach your camp. Tired and hungry, they beg food and shelter for the night. Over a hot meal, they explain they are travellers from a far-off land. They were shipwrecked here in Brandor, seeking employment. They offer to fight for the Temple of Church. They seem strong, uh, strong fighters, so you gladly accept their services. Alright. Good thing, too, because now it's right into battle. Wow, they're actually cavalry troops as well. Actually, wait. Oh, sorry, it said, it said cavalry. I didn't check that. Alright. Uh, plus two morale, because apparently I'm in the right place for it. Again, despite the fact I'm right in front of enemy territory. Let's take the field. I don't get this. <laughs> if I was that close to the enemy territory, I would probably deserve to die. Personally. Uh, oh, follow me. Alright, uh, they haven't got much, so let's... Wait, can I have any... Oh, I do have some spells. Airstrike! They all died! <laughs> I didn't even need the extra troops. Why would I need you troops when I have dragons to help me? 
My dragons will do all the work. Yes, yes. You defeated the garrison from the Sons of Frost and you captured the province of Souls Gateway. Yep. Okay. The majority of Templar Church chapters swear loyalty to you, and you are elected to the exalted position of High Marshal, a position you have sought your entire life. However, the challenge has just begun, as the Templar Church faces its darkest days yet. How did you get home? Alright, um, add skill points by clicking on... Okay, can I do it again? Yeah. <laughs> One whole level! Oh, we're going up in the world, lads. Archery, and... Let's go for a different one. Let's go for summon critters. I don't feel like Raise Dead and Fear are the particular spells that a character like Sir Belgrave would use. Just, he goes from this very loyal knight to a goddamn necromancer. Alright. You are summoned to the court of King Lionel, an old friend and trusted ally. Lionel explains that the Beast Lord Arglax has escaped from his cell at Fator and must be tracked down. The king also hints at some more dire news. Arglax, it seems, has stolen crucial kingdom battle plans. If these documents are not recovered, the Temple of the Church and its allies are in grave danger. Stop Arglax before he has time to decipher the rune codes and documents. Your ally, King Leono, will help in this battle. Destroy Arglax's campaign army in ten turns. Wonderful. Where is he? He's already back at his base. Alright. So do I have to go back there, or can I just... Or is it just like any army I've got to beat? I don't know. Let me just check my troops first. I've only got... I've still only got cavalry. Nothing else. Okay, well. Guess we'll look around for Shamunj, maybe. As we wait. Actually, let's see what he has. Uh, oh god, he has a lot of stuff. Seven cavalry. Wait, where the hell did... <laughs> now apparently I have ten heavy, ten light, and ten ranged troops. Hang on a minute. No, let me go back quickly. So I can't buy any. I just have some. Fair play. Alright. Uh, let's go this way. Screw it, I'm just going to fight him. <laughs> I might as well. I mean, like, sure I could get some more troops, but that would take a really long time. Considering the fact I'm not getting too much. And I can only buy cavalry again. Oh, it's what Emperor Tires was on the good guys. Yeah, of course you'd say that. You're allies with him, you friggin' fool. Take dragons. Here we go. I love they just, like, fly across the battlefield. Just, like, defy gravity. Escape while you can. Once you're killed. <clears throat> I still can't tell if, like, the injury thing is significant. I, I guess it just maybe deals damage to them or something. But no, I've never really, like considered the how damage works in this and the injury. Uh, let's send in the heavy troops with a normal attack. He's sending the archers, really? That's a bit stupid. <laughs> Obviously, they're gonna die. They're meant to shoot with the bows, not hit people with them. Yeah, we'll shot a monkey. Okay, uh, let's send in the cavalry with a ferocious attack. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, we're just going through them. Oh, wait, 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 we lost morale. How the hell did we lose morale? Hey, did someone just run off as a coward because morale dropped despite the fact our horsemen literally ripped and teared new assholes and all those people? <laughs> Weird. What's a Tia? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh. Hmm. So, you, they're wavering, they're battle ready, you're uninspired, fine, I'll give you a lesson in leadership with my giant fat head apparently, Jesus. Put on your sandals for you are crusaders. Oh Jesus, I've immediately lost all my morale again. And they're, okay, now they're fired up, they're zealous. They're all zeal okay, zealous and battle ready, cool. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful mass subs. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go for another ferocious attack. And you're going to go for war drums again. I, I swear to God, if, if someone ran away, I would... Mm. Eh, it still all seem pretty good. Can't use any other ability. Don't you do that. Ferocious attack. There you go. I'm not sending in the heavy troops. We're continuously going through them. Great stuff.
Okay, and let's go for... How about a normal attack with the heavies? Especially in a fight with uh, some horseback. Or rhinos in this case. Okay, nothing of that. Fair play. God, no one's dead yet. Um, can I use any abilities yet? I'm at 56 points. I can use leadership. Yeah, screw it. Let's keep them all in high spirits. And again, I was shot off with my archers then as well. Fire! Try this again. Guys, you're losing. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Okay, well, we lost one of them. Uh, it seems like going... For, maybe I should go for the cavalry again. It doesn't seem like they're working too well. Oh, cool. There you go. The arrows finally got some people. All right. Uh, ferocious attack with the cavalry. Let's go in for some kills. There we go. Yeah, they got, they got destroyed. Absolutely. Yay! We're victorious. And it lost two casualties. That's good. Is that it? Cool, like I was about to say. I was like, wait, did that not count as his army? What? I see, you've beaten my first form, but now you're no match for my final form. And just like proceed to get even stronger. A map variation for Fork Factory? I, 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 I did see it here. I did see the joke. I briefly mentioned it and then moved on. <laughs> there you go, I laughed a little bit there. Does that make you happy? Okay, the heathen barbarian lords of the north have long mocked Sul the One, god of the Templar Church. Bors the Mighty himself has called your god a weakling and a bedwetter. Sul will have his vengeance. He must raise an army and raise the city of Ormhaven to the ground. Those who will not be converted must be put to the sword. Jesus. <laughs> That's alright, don't you worry. Yeah, it's okay. It's part of the propaganda update. Uh, I saw um, I saw Harv's design for the new killer as well, that you guys are d doing, and goddamn. <laughs> you should not give that man power. <laughs> I'm just saying. What are we doing? Uh, destroy the Sons of Frost stronghold at Warmhaven. Oh, wait, have I got to actually siege engine them? Hang on, let me show you I have a siege engine. I do! Okay, I don't have to buy another one. Cool. I was like going to get stuff for free. Dave let Harv out it. I can see. I had to witness her creation. <laughs> I saw the birth of the devil incarnate. And now there's no stopping her. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's buy some more light infantry. There we go. It seems like there isn't really a, a reason to hold on with this game. And buy more troops. Because they seem to give you enough troops to handle most situations. Right from the start. That kind of sucks a bit. Especially since there isn't like difficulty settings or anything in this. Maybe that'll be something to do in the Redux. That'd be cool. Alright, uh, he has 16 light infantry. I mean, we should, I don't think I should believe that, because he's probably got much more. Alright. Use your cowboy, knock down the castle wall for your army is killed, destroy towers, slow down, yada yada yada. Okay. Cool. And also, it turns out that increasing the siege damage on the upgrade system does actually do that. That was really, really quick. And wow, you actually do have a really little army. I take it back. Uh, I imagine Yandere Dave would appear in another future update past the propaganda one. Yeah, most likely. Stream might appear in Strange Terror if you're not careful enough. Alright, airstrike! Here it comes! Whee! Uh, oh, we got rid of the archers, I think. Wonderful! Now we could rain down Hellfire on them and they can't do anything in return. Uh, send in the, the Templar Knights. Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. 
Got some heavy troops for that. Let's send in a bunch of uh, light infantry with some cautious attacks. Oh my god, wow. We didn't lose a single one, and we literally take out, took, take out, took out the rest of them. Okay. Arrows make their mark. Uh, no, I'm not going to retreat. God. Why are you a coward? Let's go for some cautious attacks. Hmm. Looks like we've got an old fashioned standoff. I <laughs> take out the army. Yeesh. Well, almost. I almost take out the army. Let me just send in these guys for a first attack. There you go. There's the polar bears. Uh, okay, so we lost two casualties and they, they had a starting army of 21, but somehow amassed people during the raid and then lost them anyways. <laughs> oh, not. I find it funny how that's apparently how it is. Just, oh, we're actually only at 21. And then we gave birth to 18 more soldiers when you raided the door and then we lost them as well. Oh, sorry. The city of Warmhaven has been decimated by your siege. The cowardly barbarians fleeing northward rather than facing the judgment of Sul. Thanks to your efforts, they would never again mock the one true fate for the Temple of Church. But they'll probably come back. Because that uh, seems to be the recurring thing. Um, okay. <laughs> you just give him raised dead. As... It's just, it feels weird giving this heavenly guy the basically necromancy. I don't know if the, the Kingdom of Fata and the Temple of Church would really approve of such methods, personally. Maybe when we, like, got... Nothing, nothing else to buy. We'll just go ahead and become edgy, edgy spellcasters with necromancy. In a dream, you see a golden chalice in the desert, reefed in light and emanating a vast aura of power. You recognize this chalice as the Grail of Sul, a legendary artifact which will summon to your army the awesome power of the Grail Knight. Find this Grail. I take it the Grail of Sul, rumored to be high in the mountains in sixteen turns or less. Okay, so it's. Essentially like the one we did for Leono, except now it's uh, the mountains. Can I dig here? <laughs> That's what I say, if it's like actually in the castle, that would be amazing. <laughs> sure, I just digged up your step and it turns out I found the grail. Oh, this is amazing. Is it here? Oh. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Mission complete. We go home, everybody. Congratulations. It's just, I love, I love the idea of this ancient artifact that's been buried for so long. It's, it's just like a few steps to the left of the kingdom. It's just there, outside somewhere probably. All your life you have dreamed of the day you would hold a loaf the Grail of Sul and raise the Grail Knight. The power of this mighty colossus in your army, the enemies of Sul will kneel before the light. It was just, it was just outside the castle walls, and you just never got it. Oh god, whatever. whatever. Right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with the game's logic. All right, offensive tactics. Let's go with those. Okay, rising from the ancient crypts of Dracondia, the Grail Knights stand before you, the embodiment of the will of Sul. You realize the only way to stop Argalax once and for all is to destroy his Colossus, the mighty primate. We've already killed the ape, though. Indeed, the Grail Knight has arrived with nary a moment to spare. Send the Grail Knight into the desert, defeat the evil beast, and claim glory for Sul. Using the Grail Knight to defeat the Primate from battle within, f within five turns. So you're basically telling me I've got to go straight there. Otherwise I die. Have I just... Have I only got... I've only got the Grail Knight. I haven't got anything else. Okay. So you literally want me to just... Go straight to his kingdom. Take down his door. And be done with it. That's literally it, yeah? Uh, oh wait, do I not have a... Hang on. Am I finding you? Oh, okay, you have it, cool. I was about to say, I wanted to go to the, um, the castle and do it. Alright then, well, I guess we're fighting a one-on-one -on -one in the desert, where he has an advantage. Let's go straight for a first attack. Here we go, Grow Knight. Don't fail me. Grail Knight, you're failing me. Grail Knight. Yay, we lost. <laughs> okay, uh, mission failed. Yeah, it just dies. Although the Grail Knight was mighty, the Primate was mightier still. Your Colossus has fallen with it, so too has the very heart of the Temple of Church has been ripped out. 
Mortified and shamed, you fall upon your sword and await the judgment of Saul in the next life. Jesus, dude. Well, I guess we're trying that one again. So, it's essentially a sort of... It's essentially luck-based, isn't it? It's either I win against it or I don't win against it. It's just one of those two. Let's go for a nice cautious attack this time. Let's, let's go on the defensive and see what happens. Uh, literally nothing. Oh, no, no, I'm still being wailed on. Dude, hit him! Gra Grail Knight, use the sword and hit him back. Don't... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we lost again. Wonderful. <laughs> We're lit... Wait, why am I still alive? Hello? Game? I think I'm supposed to be dead. Apparently I'm not. Okay, apparently he's fine. Uh, let's go for a normal attack. Maybe the normal attack will work. No. Am I... Am I really just... <laughs> is this how this works? I'm just throwing myself at the ape until I eventually get a... A, um, a round against it where it actually wins. Hmm. I will be honest, I'm not too sure about this mission structure in particular. I'm going to be honest. It's just like, it's, it's throwing darts at the dartboard and hoping something hits, you know? If I auto battle. Ah, cool, there you go. There you go, done. <laughs> Don't play, yeah, just don't play the game. Let's uh, avoid the fight. Let it do it itself and uh, win. Cool. The Grail Knight succeeded where others could not. Like the Grail Knights before it. The Prime Ape is killed and the Temple of Church has struck a mighty blow against Arglax and the forces of evil. Glory to Saul! When you're a crusader, Okay, Baron of Wishful Drinking. Um, I'm not even going to bother reading this again because uh, <laughs> I can't catch up all this tax. Tax? Tax. Text. Uh, okay, we're playing as Baron Wolfgang next. Notorious rogue and drunkard in the former prison of Fantasia's arena. He's risen to general of the free states. Due to long peace in the realm, the free states have enjoyed great prosperity. Till now, that is, he chaos of eating garf and no rival of Wolfgang starts stirring up travel in the free states' lands. He sobers up and springs into action. All right. The nefarious he chaos, a tyrant in control of the Legion of Madmen, has, uh, has until recently kept his mischief confined to his own lands. The latest, however, is that his army is on the move and actually trying to recruit forces to the Legion of H. He Chaos was, in fact, a child friend of yours until you stole a girl from him once, as one does. As such, you cannot let him succeed in any wicked plot he might launch. Uh, put down your tankard, go visit Free State Lands, kiss babies, and obtain support from the course before he does. Conquer 10 provinces in 15 turns. Alright. So I just gotta, gotta spread my influence and uh, <clears throat> take over land, essentially. <laughs> Okay, three, four, five, six. Don't you dare come on my land, I swear to God, he chaos. <laughs> Feels like I'm playing a game of Snake. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to rule him off from my side, and he's just going to be stuck on his side until he can't move anymore. Yay! With a swiftness and determination, you gather support from several key provinces in the realm. Discouraged, Hikaos retreats to his fortress at Edengarth with many fewer newer recruits than he had hoped for. You celebrate with a big night out in the Braxis Port District. More drinks, of course. Uh, oh my god, yeah, I forgot the little fat kid is his southern critter. Obviously, can you get an army of those? Little Kingdom spies reported legion forces marching out of Edengarth in large numbers. Several villages in the surrounding area have burnt to the ground, and Hikaos seems to be moving. Uh, seems to be. There's no B in there. Seems to be moving northward into allied allied territory. Me, his army, head on and defeat him. New heavy infantry troops are now available to use. Cool. Okay. <laughs> right, so what do we have as an army? 40 light, 10 heavy, no cavalry, some archers. Okay. All right, we can work this. We can work with it. Don't you worry. I should probably get some more of my uh, merchantile upgrade soon, so I can get some more money. 
Wait, I lost my turn because of that? Game, I, I, I made a mistake. Am I not allowed? Oh my god, eight infantry troops have been lost. You and your men stop at a small hamlet, a hamlet one afternoon for a well-earned respite from the toil of combat. Drinking at local tavern, your men consume many flagoons of ale before some fall violently ill. At first you put it down to the alcohol, till the men start coughing up blood. Many of your best troops are dead by morning. Their lives ended by drinking ale poisoned by your enemies. Ah. Oh. This is what you get, Wolfgang, for having your army be all about drinking. Yeah, should have seen it coming. Okay. I'm gonna just slowly take some land. Oh, he took the land there. I'm gonna steal the one behind him. He's gone back home for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what the I don't know what the AI tries to do. It just kind of walks around doing whatever the hell. I've got to chase up there now. Um, hang on, let me buy some troops. Buy a bunch of archers. I just want like an entire army of archers and just like stall out the game enough that the army the uh, archers could just keep shooting down like anything the opponent throws at me. Oh, that'd be great. I guess we'll go this way then. I, th I didn't lose my turn that time. That's weird. Okay. Fair, fair play, I guess. Hmm. Weird. Let's buy some more archers. And uh, now I'm going to go through to his land and take him out. Ah, hello. Take the field. Well, you see, you may have small light infantry, but I have an army of the same archer over and over again. And best of all, I have an army of fat kids. Go! Oh my god. There's only one left. Oh, he cast fear. Okay, I got rid of one, though. And now the army of archers is just going to rain down hellfire on this guy. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance of him. He's just like, oh no. Oh, 60. I, I don't have 69 troops anymore. I have 68. Because one guy ran away like a coward. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh, sorry, I think my, my throat's going off a bit. Again, he chaos has been routed. You have done serious damage to the strength of the Legion, and although he chaos escaped, it will be some time before he threats the, uh, threatens the free states again. You celebrate by knocking down the local temple or church and erecting a tavern. <laughs> Wonderful. I hope you don't try and find an ally in the, the Templars. Baron, because you're probably not going to get far with it. Okay, let's go for more archery skills. Uh, the wars against He-Chaos have bled the Free State's treasury nearly dry, and you quickly realize your men are both underskilled and in need of a tutor. The great Spheracles, master of puzzles and beloved of the gods, has offered his services to your men for the paltry sum of only 500. The catch, however, is that if you cannot provide the gold within 16 turns, he will offer his services to someone else. Like, for instance... He chaos. Whatever it takes, whether you have to conquer all the realm or dig up every relic in Brandor, you must get that gold to Spheracles. Alright. Time to get the money. Uh, oh, okay. There's no enemies. Well, I've got the Mercantile upgrade, which is going to help me out a lot. So I think if I just walk around a bunch, I should be okay. I'm sorry, game. I forgot there's a little gap in between. Oh, don't move back. Move to new lands. New places. Tell everybody I'm on my way. New friends and new places to see. With blue skies ahead, yes, I'm on my way. And there's nowhere else that I'd rather be. <laughs> The Jovial Colossus Spherically is delighted when you bring the gold to his temple of colored spheres in Atenia. He will fight for you against the wicked He Chaos. He also insists you stick around for a game of three in a row. You're bored to tears, but still managed to beat him a few times. Cool. Wonderful. Um. Okay. Siege. Ma ma uh, match out. Max out Weaponsmith. God damn it. Speak properly, Chaos. God damn it. God damn it. I swear to God. Okay. Your old comrade and now High Marshal of the Temple of Church, Sir Belgrave, rise into Braxis one evening with dire news. Citizens from his land have reported the dead rising from the grave, some wearing ancient gladiatorial armor with the mark of the dead Emperor Antares. The two of you ride to Fatal, where your suspic uh, suspicions are confirmed by King Leono. Leono. I still can't pronounce his name properly. 
He tells you that when uh, um, let me say again. He tells you that when last Argax was in his prison, he revealed that he had made contact with Emperor Antares, but refused to say where or how. You must send Spiracles to track down Argax and capture him again to learn more. Which after the Legion of Hate, who are still furious about after you've rooted them in battle recently. Yeah, that makes plenty of sense. They're butt hurt. Of course. I'm sorry, I'm just so good. I really am. But. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, everybody's on this map. Uh, let's go this way. And then you... King Leon's built a catapult. Don't know why. Okay. Uh, I think we just go go after Ryglax in this one, if I'm not mistaken. Yoink. Um, oh, he's got more stuff than me. Yeah, screw it. Let's take him on. Bring it on, you bugger. Spiracles will have you ahead, he will. We'll take out all your troops before. Or not. I think I made a grave mistake. <laughs> okay, do it again. Summon critters, not not the bats. Oh. I might have done some damage. Is he still in full health? I think he is, yeah. I think he's fine. Uh oh. Come on, speculates. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, come on. Oh, no, he's dead. He, he, he dead. He died. Ah, oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, no. Circle is proved as successful a colossal as he did a puzzle master. In other words, he is a hopeless failure and cannot be relied upon for anything. You drink yourself into oblivion in the arms of Bookswom Wench. Wonderful. Okay. A happy ending. Right. So, do I want to maybe build an army quickly? I've only got a few turns, haven't I? I must win in under 10 turns. Yeah, I am on a time limit. Oh, but I've got 808 gold, apparently. Yeah, sure. Let's buy... Can I buy anything? I could buy another Spiracles. You know, I don't think I can. No, I can only buy one. So, I'm literally stuck with only him. How would you keep, why would you tease me with so much money if the game's like, oh, sorry, you can't actually buy these troops? Yeah, no dice. He's obviously gamers. It's harsh. <laughs> also, he's apparently cowering in his kingdom. There you go, he's moved. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I got, him, I got a morale penalty, and he has a morale boost. Alright, that's auto battle. Yeah, they destroyed me again. Hmm. It's a shame. A lot of these, a lot of these do seem like luck-based, unfortunately. Because I mean, I, I can't build an army to like improve my chance. I've got to literally just throw spherically's at them and see if anything sticks. It's, it's again the whole dartboard thing. It's just that, which kind of sucks a bit. Again, 30% chance of victory, auto battle, just again. Hmm. I can't actually remember these moments particularly well. It's weird because I, I, I did play through some of this, like a, like maybe about a year ago this break, when I got the classic collection. Maybe not even a year ago, I think like even sooner than that, like maybe a few months ago. Like, I've played all this. And I've seen what it's all about, and like I've experienced, and I've done this quest, in fact. But I can only imagine it took a friggin' hell of a long time to do it. It's in the fact the game is not the kindest with it. Like, it wouldn't be a problem if I could try and do something to, like, counteract it, but I'm literally just throwing myself 1% chance of victory. Screw it! Am I am I going to be roadblocked here? Probably not. It will just be when I eventually get lucky and um, get a round where I actually manage to beat everything they have. But it's obviously until I can do that that I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. 
Can I get him out of the desert somehow? Can I, like, find a better place to fight him in? Is this better to fight him in? Let's take a look. Yes! Okay, well, to be fair, the morale penalty is still as bad, but he, he has less troops, too. So he also has randomized troops. That could be better or worse for me. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess I am going to auto battle. And, oh, I killed something that time. <laughs> Oh boy. Mm. I don't know about this, Shimmel. Everyone's building catapults. Why the hell does everybody else exist on this map? I don't get it. I'm just I'm just going after Arglax. All I gotta do. You guys don't even matter. Don't even matter at all. Maybe I gotta fight it myself. Maybe there's a way around this. Like, what if I just like fight really cautiously? Would I do anything? Are oh, you sending the archers in already? To to die. Some of them at least. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh. No, it's doing more damage. It, it's just it just kills me. It just utterly destroys me. Should I just like throw ferocious attack and ferocious attack and ferocious attack and see what happens? <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to like get every single option I have onto this and see what happens. But it just, it just doesn't seem like it's doing anything. <laughs> Again, this would be so much nicer if I could have maybe got some other troops to help win this situation, especially when my treasury sits at 836 gold. <laughs> Like, I've clearly got money to spend here, which would be great, but... <laughs> oh, alright, fine. We're, we're just going to put all our eggs in one basket. We're going to throw in Ferocious Attacks. Jesus Christ, I didn't even take out them. Spirically, the hell are you doing, mate? Try again. Please get some of them now. One, two, three. Cool, okay. But now you're severely weakened for the the ape. I really have a lot stuck on this for like the next hour. I wanna wanna keep pressing on, you know, I wanna wanna be able to do it. Oh god, yeah, they're just way wailing for a spirit clears. I've still got the, the ape hasn't even fought this time. <laughs> and we are in no position. To take on the ape. Come on. Wail on him. Cool, some of them are leaving. It would be nice if the ape could run away, but apparently not. Oh god, he's gonna come and finish to go. 325 health! Hmm. How the hell did I win this last time? <laughs> I'm generally confused now. How the hell did I beat the... How the hell did I beat this in the previous one? Did I just, like, keep hitting auto battle until I eventually manage to win somehow? I don't know. Because I'm assuming the game doesn't play out the, um, like, the war scene when you press auto battle. I'm pretty sure it just, like, randomly gives you either a win or a loss, I'm assuming. Yeah, sure. Y you go and fight him, Sir Belgrave. You, you, you go and battle Argalax. Uh, did, did some of your troops die? Mm, you don't have any light infantry anymore. But you do have, uh, to be fair, actually, he's got a much weaker... Hmm. I don't think that still says anything about me. <laughs> Fine, auto battle. Yeah, this is again. Hmm... Yeah, this, I don't think this is a very good game design. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Like, if it was just one Colossal against the other, like the the one I had with Sir Belgrave, then, yeah, you know, it still sucks slightly, because, again, that was still a case of roll the dice and see if you get lucky, but at least with that one, it was more of, um, you know, at least with that, it was more 
you have a better chance of winning. It was 50-50. It wasn't, oh, you got less of a chance because he also has other troops as well. Really? <laughs> I had a 73% chance to win that game. Are you seriously taking the piss right now? Oh my god. <laughs> can I just ask for one nice thing? Hey sir, can I just ask for one nice thing? Can I just get a win? That would be great. I would love it if I could get the win. I want to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can like box him in the corner maybe. He, he, he seems to be able to drop troops off sometimes, so maybe that means his army will be weaker? Maybe? I don't know. 20. And he just has more. <laughs> I have a morale boost, which is nice, I guess, but... I've got less chance of victory because he just has more stuff this time. I guess auto battle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still alive somehow. 2% chance. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> I, I think I'm supposed to be kicked out of them, but I guess sometimes the game just doesn't do it. Oh, boy. I'm really hoping, for the sake of the game, that this style of mission it either does not exist in the Redux, or it's reworked to let you buy troops or something. Because currently... My god! <laughs> Jesus, this is so luck-based. <laughs> either you win or you die. You use, mo usually die, though, apparently. See, so what's your army like this time? Significantly weaker. That's auto battle. And we lose, because of course we... Hmm... I'm trying to think, how <laughs> how much longer do I go on with this until I think, you know what, I don't feel the game's going to give it to me. I should probably either stop the stream or I should do something else. Hmm. We'll give it a few more tries. If it keeps persisting, um, then maybe we'll do like Conquer the Realm or something or Survival. Just to spend the rest of the time. I don't really have to change games halfway through a stream. So. Yeah. It's just the fact that like, the rest of the game plays out like normal. So this guy can get more armies potentially. Or he can lose them. It's like, am I supposed to let him maybe get in a fight with someone else? And then hope that they take out some of his things? It's... I don't know what to do. Because... Because, <laughs> like, spherically it seems weaker by, to the, the primate in comparison to begin with. But then he also has more troops to deal with. And I only have spherically and nothing else. I'm assuming all these guys don't have colossals as well, which is probably why Argrax keeps beating them. What if it just be slow? Can I do that? Can I maybe see if he's going to fight Arglax? <clears throat> okay, he's, he's dropped off troops this time. No, he has a Colossus as well. Okay, so they all seem to have like an equal playing field. It's just you who needs to die, but you're refusing to. Just, just does not want to give me the win. I mean, do I, is do I actually have to play through it? Is that what I'm missing here? Is there something I'm missing in the build up to that that might let me get around it? Because I don't know. It just it feels so. <laughs> it feels like no matter what, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Personally, it's like either spherically goes straight for the primate, and the primate kills him, or he goes for the minions. The minions die, sure, but they get weakened, or they weaken spherically, sorry. And then he dies anyways to the primate, you know what I mean? It's like one of the two. 
Meanwhile, everybody else has goddamn um, Okay I mean, Sir Belga, if you have some troops you want to give me, that would be great That'd be wonderful, dude um, Why does that take my... T I, mm, I don't get this game sometimes 69% chance but Screw it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the field on this one I'm not even gonna risk losing just because of the auto battle again I don't even care. <laughs> I'm not doing it myself. You son of a gun. Alright. Normal. Oh gosh, Ricklies, please don't die to these. Please don't die to them. I beg of you, sir. I really beg of you. Do not die. Let me go to the little ones. One more time. Come on, please take them out. There we go. Alright. I think he heals up. I hope he heals up. Oh, it's a shame that didn't count as like his campaign army. That would have been great. Uh, yeah, short auto battle. Thank God. I was about to say, if I lost that, if I lost that as an auto battle, Jesus. Um, why is there an, why does he not have a Colossus anymore? Hang on a minute. Is it up here? No. Where's the where's the ape? And I'll take the field, sure. But why does he not have the ape? Hello? I think I think the concept of this one is that he's supposed to have the ape. And not having that's quite a problem, because it means he's not doing he's not playing how the story is supposed to be played. It's breaking the rules. Okay, well I guess we'll go for these troops. I mean, technically speaking, this is his campaign army, so this should still get me a win, right? Did I seriously win this because the game bugged out or something and it doesn't have the the prime ape anymore? Is this how is this how it ends? I can't tell if I feel better about this or worse. It's tricky. Is this gonna give me the win? Please give me the win. Oh my god. So, the only way I won that was because, for some reason, the game didn't spawn in the Prime Ape, for some random reason. And because of that, I was able to get the win. That was the only reason I won, because the Ape that was the problem wasn't in his army for some reason. I, I don't get that. Regardless, though, I'm happy about it because it means we can actually play the rest of the game now. Although he was expensive, Spirit Cleese proves extremely good at his job. When the game bugs out. He wraps Arclax on the field and holds him to Draconjo for questioning by the Temple of the Church. Under torture, he reveals your worst fears. Antares is risen from the grave and although he will not say why or how it has come about, Arclax does let slip that he, Chaos, and Legion have something to do with it. Ah. I'm going to kick their asses. <laughs> Time to lay the torture on them. Right. I probably could have won. I was skill, actually. Whoops. While Spherically's tracked down Arglax, defeated the Prime Ape, he chaos... De defeated the Prime Ape, yes. He didn't do that. Uh, he chaos has been quietly recruiting to the Legion once again. Spice report a vast army approaches from Edengarth. Its purpose is single-minded to destroy Braxis. Worse still, your Colossus Spherically's has disappeared. Unreliable as always. He chaos leads a horde of archers... Prantarians and giant war elephants and crazed fanatics. Not not one to forget a grudge. He wishes your head on a plate. Your home stronghold of Braxis must not fall. Okay, so defeat his army in 15 turns. They must not lose my castle. Okay. Yeah, it's only his campaign now, so I don't have to, to raid his... 
to raid his castle. I'm gonna buy a bunch of archers and I can use my goddamn money. 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 Oh, Jesus. <laughs> May went a bit too mad with that. Money! I, could I... I probably could have bought Spirit Blades again, couldn't I? <laughs> Oops. Alright. Uh, let's also buy a bunch of light infantry. I can't buy... I'm maxed out. Heavies! Yes. Cool. Alright. Uh, he chaos. Time to get your ass kicked by other chaos. Forty-seven percent, Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm gonna protect the field. Oh, Jesus, does have a lot of them. Um, right, let's start off with. Doesn't really matter which one we're gonna use. Use the fat kids because they're cool. Go! Bodies everywhere. Oh, Jesus, the sound effects. All these arrows. 23 kills. He got 12. You lucky son of a gun. Very well. Uh, let's save up on our points for now. Let's go for a cautious attack with the light infantry. Oh, he's going to use an airstrike. Get out a bunch of my dudes. Archers! 16. 12. All right. Still can't use any of those. Maybe we should do I want to rally them? They're all very uninspired. Most of them are. Alright. Leadership. Stay strong, men. We'll be home in the pub by lunch. <coughs> Alright. Twelve troops. And eleven. Alright, so we're still very even with all this. Send in our cavalry with a normal attack. Oh, he's taking the archers. Crazy. You crazy hooligan! I don't stand a chance! Against my cavalry. Why is some mine leaving? Why can't you make his leave? I just inspired you all as well. Jesus. I just spent an entire evening writing a speech. And this is how you repay me? Alright. Regulators go. Oh god. They're being scattered like flies. Scattered and dropped like flies. Swatted. There you go. A few more. Oh no, he killed my guy. Uh, ferocious attack. Send him in! Leave none standing! Okay, this is a pretty tight one, to be fair. These are the archers that keep doing damage. Taking out some of the light infantry. Uh, can I use... I'm still going to wait a bit longer. Alright, we'll send in the regulators for a cautious attack. And they got utterly demolished. And now one of them is running away again. Cool. Uh, right. Let's go for another fat kid charge. Go. Two troops. Ooh, that was it. Too fair, they were the elephants, which is pretty decent. Yeah, we got the elephants. Oh wow. Okay. Fair play. The arrows killed every single last one of them. Perfect. Alright, was that it? Yes, cool. Alright. I was about to say, if I actually had to raid his castle, that would have been a problem. For whatever reason, he chaos has failed. Put it down to poor planning, poor generalship, or most likely just the trademark incompetence of the Legion of H. At any rate, Braxus has survived. Amidst the broken siege engines and dead bodies, you find a journal detailing Legion battle plans. Upon opening, you are startled to find sketches of the Great Colosseum at Eldor Half and Great Burial Chambers underneath. You look at further sketches, in which hordes of skeletons pour from the Colosseum and into the night. Ooh. Alright. Uh, what else can I buy? I could literally buy the other things I was neglecting buying. Screw it. Let's go for Ray's Dead. Let's, let's go for some necromancy. The traitor flees into the night. When King Leano's attention focused squarely on the south, one of the Ling, uh, Lion Kingdom's most influential lords, Keelan Helmgard, has attempted to usurp power in his absence. Uh, Hodos Kubis thwarted Helmgard is undeterred, gathering many loyal followers. He flees Phaeton in the night, vows to start a new republic, free of the. Blah, 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 blah. A bunch of stuff. So you're playing is the Iron Republic now, I believe. Uh, your first days of the ruler of the Iron Republic have not been easy. Only a few loyal men came with you when you seceded from the kingdom rule. 
Ten brave soldiers and two heavy infantrymen are now holed up at Helmgard Fortress. A warry bunch looking to you to provide a leadership. Now is the time to gather support for the Republic. Take your men and ride through Brandor, inciting rebellion. Ten provinces should be enough to cause King Leonu grief. Watch for the Temple of Church. We've heard of your betrayal and we'll hunt you down. Okay, Helmgard must not fall and I must control ten provinces. Alright. Where do I spawn? Okay, somewhat far away from them. Is he going to... I wonder if he's going to come for me, though. Oh, God, they're all approaching. Very menacingly. Uh, can I buy some... Can I buy some troops? I can't. Mm. Oh, God. I, uh, are we... Are we going for another one of these again? Where I might just... I don't know. I hope it doesn't go for the kingdom, because I've got barely any troops to defend myself with. I think we're okay. I hope we're okay. And now I'm stuck. Screw it, we'll take the field. <laughs> I've got to get some more lands, and I can't go anywhere else, so... I guess we'll go in here. Uh, use summon critters. Watch your balls! Oh, there you go. There you go, most of them. Release the terror balls! That was a pun, I can't tell. Um, Alright. Null attack with the berserkers, or the immortals, whatever you call them. Did utterly nothing. Okay, um, race dead. There you go. 12 Republican Guard troops have risen from the grave to join the Iron Republic. Yes! My army grows! Send them into battle! Oh. I don't really have, like, any weaknesses to them. I guess they're just, like, actually new troops. Which is really good. There you go. All done. Why are you fleeing? You won! <laughs> oh my god. Run away, man! We're losing! Oh wait, no, we won. But run away anyways! Are we done? Have I got enough provinces? No? There we go. The enemy is catching more provinces here. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? I, I, had, I had ten. You didn't tell me to get more. Many men are swayed by your passionate speeches and determination. Soon your ranks swell. The power of Helmgard grows and the Iron Republic is born. A voice from the common man in a sea of monarchists, indulgence, and archaic, archaic feudal rule. Nailed it. Okay. Uh, offensive tactics, defensive tactics, and merchantile. So we level up the rest of our skills. Whilst you were in the service of King Leano, you often talked with scholars about a legendary artifact, the machine of the people. Supposedly, this machine, a vastly complex kit of cogs, steam pipes, and engines, can be put together to form a mighty colossus. Such a towering force would inspire your new republic and give the people faith in your cause. Search the realms for it. Do not rest until it is found. Uh, find the machine of the people, rumored to be in an urban city in less than 16 turns. Okay. So, a lot of these missions kind of re repeat a bunch as well, unfortunately. This is another sort of look for a thing mission. You know? It's a shame that some of them do repeat a lot. So I've just got to go all the way down here, find a place that suits the bill, and then hope to God it's the right one. If not, we move on. Dick? Not there. Okay. Uh, oh, Fator. Is it here? No. Gallowstones, is it here? No. <laughs> now it's not being nice anymore. I kind of missed the time when it just gave it to me immediately. Am I missing any up here? No. No. Fields, hills. Uh, where? No, not anymore. Skolden. It's very Skolden, isn't it? Because I can't see any others on the map. There it is. Discovered the machine of the people. Hiding just on the, the South Bay for some reason. 
In the abandoned warehouse just on the outskirts of Port Skolden, you find the machine under a great pile of scrap metal. Although it is covered in dust, your men are able to haul it outside and begin assembly on your Colossus. Cool. I'm gonna study some more necromancy, apparently. Uh, poverty is one of the greatest struggles of your fledgling republic. Although your scholars and engineers work tirelessly on the Iron Giant, it's proven to be a hugely expensive project. Worse still, attacks from the kingdom have intensified, and like a vulture, the evil key chaos has decided you might be an easy kill. Build your Iron Giant quickly, or the Republic will surely fall. Uh, build an Iron Giant in 25 turns. Okay. How much money do I start with? Nothing? 108. Okay. Alright, this shouldn't take too long then. I think I need 800 gold for the Colossus, if I'm not mistaken. God, the gold is actually going quite slow. Um, do I have troops? Let me take a look. Okay, no, I do have quite a few. I've got five range troops, two heavies, and ten light. And he has barely anything. Um, God, I don't actually know. If, am I going to have enough for this? I've got 25 turns, so I've got a really long time to do it. So, screw it. Let's take the field and fight against... Chaos. Start off with Raise Dead. We got more troops. That generally seems like a really good ability, though. I get, it looks like it's only infantry troops that get it, but still, I can just keep amassing more of them. My army grows as the fight goes on. It also stores their turn as well, so that's always a bonus. Now send them in for a normal attack. 41. <laughs> Just wails on them, damn. I don't know why my troops keep running away though. Maybe it's... Did the ghost maybe affect that somehow? I can't remember if it was this game or it's Pirates where um, Antares' men don't have morale or something like that. So I wonder if that's like um, a continuation of that. It's like maybe the reason why they run away because they're all undead skeleton warrior guys. I don't know. Um, oh, four gold a turn. I will take Shackleford, please. Uh, order battle. Thank you. Need all the money I can get. Three gold, two gold, two gold. No, yeah, I need I need a siege engine for that. Uh, so I can't buy it yet. I do need eight hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 800 for the really scary Iron Giant. Okay, what if I dig? I'm going to do that. Poisonous fumes, wonderful. Tell, let's get this one lone spot up in the corner. How much gold was worth that on that, that as well? Uh, two, so <laughs> probably not worth it. Any other valuables? I guess I could take this one. It's unclaimed. Six gold for Trachondia. Yes. Take that. I'm pretty sure this is literally where the Temple of Trash is supposed to be, but let's, let's not let reality get in the way of it at all. We're fine. Ooh, it's, it, you challenging me, sir. Very well. Get out of here. Back to your hometown with you. All right. So we should have enough money now and hopefully enough turns still. Yes, okay, cool. Buy troops, buy an iron giant, and move over there, I guess. Yay! Finally, it is complete. A mighty iron giant stands before you, some 70 feet high and weighing over 200 tons. Some say 70 feet high and weighing over 200 tons. The soulless killing machine will surely give your people the edge in Helmgard's fight for control of the realm. Very good to hear. Um, let's max out Raise Dead, Archery, maybe a Siege. I think I actually lost a skill point. I, I don't know if it, it keeps hold of them. I should probably test that and see what happens. 
Uh, brimming with patriotic pride, you gaze up at the Iron Giant. This surely is the greatest of all the colossi in the world. Greater than King Lionel's pathetic archangel or the stinking primate. Faster than Spheracles and stronger than Belgrave's Grail Knight. Prove it. Take the Iron Giant through the realm and defeat all of your rival colossi. Gladly. I actually get to fight some people now with cool armies. I hope I get to fight with the armies. Or is it just, again, the, uh, the single Iron Giant I get to use? Yep, I I shouldn't have fought anything. It's just it's literally just the Iron Giant. Okay, but they, they only have their colossal as well. Okay, that's all right. I mean, it still sucks slightly because again, it's still very luck based, but at least it's not as bad, I guess. Doesn't stop me from losing though. <laughs> Was that guy just giving the finger? I only briefly say, I want to go back to my stream. Did he give me the finger? Wow, he actually gave the finger, that troop. What a cocky son of a gun. The Iron Giant was great, but not the greatest. It is now little more than a pile of wreckage. A charred mess of gears and cogs. That's okay, we can put it back together again. No, apparently not. Oh, God. So, it's just going to be a case again, I guess, of hope to God that you beat all of them and don't lose to one. Otherwise, it's right back to the beginning with you, friend. Let's take a look. Uh, Belgrave is being nice and patient over here. Let's go say hello to him. Oh, now he starts moving, of course. Okay, so yeah, it is literally just everyone with a Colossus. Alright, auto battle. Nope, we, we lost. Wonderful! Guess we're doing that again, man. I still can't tell what the strategy is, though, with Colossi fights. It's like, if you go for the cautious attack, you die. If you go for the medium attack, you die. If you go for the heavy attack, you also die. I don't know. Alright. Maybe I should just throw it at everything with the heaviest attack possible and just see if it works. Hope to God it works. That would be great. That would be amazing. Ugh. Okay, King Nano. Take the field. I will throw every ounce of strength I have at you. And hope to God it works. Let's go. It has more health! Why does it have more health now? Wait, oh my god, I'm gonna lose. No, just... How does this work out? I don't know. I do not understand the way I'm supposed to work this out. I'd be like, I want the game to be nice and fair and make it so I don't have to rely on luck. And the game's like, no. I came for a good time and got kicked in the balls. <laughs> Tip typical. Okay, we'll go for... We're going to pick on Wolfgang first. He's our prime target for this first onslaught. Take the field. Now, Spherocles, when I had Spherocles, only had 200 HP, right? Why did he have 350? Why? <laughs> Why did yours have more? <laughs> I'm so confused about all this. Oh, wait, I I just had a thought, actually, regarding an upgrade in the upgrade section I've been neglecting all this time. That I might have been required to buy, which, if that's the case, is a bad idea on the gameplay. But, it might explain why my chances are not very good. So, remember the Colossus Mastery upgrade? That I haven't bought, bought, like, bought any of it so far. 
I'm assuming that by buying that, I can make my Colossus stronger. And I haven't been doing that. So that might be why theirs are really, really strong and mine is not at all. But with that said, you know, I, I shouldn't have to go back and do that all again, should I? I can't select which chapter I want to play either, so I've got to restart the entire game again. Should I want that, so... Hmm. That might explain why the, the match has just been so... Uh, unfair, I guess is the best way to put it. But, I don't know, dude. Like, when I had to rely on upgrades to win this, it seems a bit cheesy. Or maybe it's just poor management, I don't know. I don't know anymore, dude. It's just, when everything else is so much stronger than mine, it's just a bit... It's a bit sour. And just leaves. Hmm. It's, it's a tricky situation. I can't tell if I'm just supposed to have done that. Or it's just maybe maybe a bit harsh to like rely on you having to buy an upgrade system in order for you to stand any chance in these situations, you know? It's really hard to work out. Because I'm, I'm guessing... Just give me the finger again, you cheese son of a gun. I'm guessing if I bought that upgrade, this would be so much easier. But, like... The fact I can't go back and buy the upgrade now as well. I can't, like, resume chapters, I believe. I'm stuck on this one now. Hmm. It just kind of sucks. Uh, screw it. We'll take the field. Uh, first is attack. His is so much stronger than mine. Jesus Christ. I know, I know there are still luck-based elements to this as well. Stuff like his, um, how his attacks work and everything. That no, just does not. Hmm. I've got to take out all of these as well, just as a reminder. I've got to take out every single one of them. God. At this rate, I think what I might have to do is I still want to play through the rest of the story, but I might have to go back and like make another save, play through everything again, and like work on balancing out everything a bit more, investing in the areas where I am now need to re to invest in. If that makes sense. Oh wow! I just got a win. Damn. Okay, there goes one Colossus. Now I've got to get rid of the rest of them. All in one life. Two? Okay. Okay. You're going to make this a, f a free? A free? And then I lose. Oh, God damn it. So I, I am literally just throwing myself at this. I've got, to, I've got to hope that all four of these fights play in my favor from the auto bow. Otherwise, there is just no chance I win. Hmm. But like, I didn't think the game would get this like harsh of all this, right? You know? I don't think the game would require me to bounce out these upgrades in order for me to make any progress in this. Because, like, I feel like the majority of other upgrades, if I neglected them, I would be okay. Because, you, you, sure, you got to invest in something at some point, yeah. But if I had avoided, like, buying stuff like Airstrike or Summon Critters and just bought some other stuff like Mercantile and all, like, you can still do a lot of good stuff with that. But when it comes to these Colossus battles alone, I guess it just... It becomes a bit of a struggle because if that doesn't work, then you're, you're literally screwed. Okay. 
free. Oh. <laughs> the Iron Giant stands victorious over the smoldering corpses of his colossal foes. Truly, you are the greatest colossus in the world, for now. Despite the fact Spherocles is still alive and was not touched. Um, I think the game bugged out again. And maybe it's because it registered beforehand. No, no, I haven't beaten Spherocles yet. I don't think. Oh, wait, no, I did. I did beat Spherocles once. Maybe the game registered that I beat every colossal at least once in different rounds of this. And I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Right, okay, Colossus Mastery. Let's level that up because apparently I really need it. Really, really need it. Okay, when the Iron Giant greatest ro when the Iron Giant greatest robot in the world returns to Helmgar victorious, all rejoice. The kingdom and its allies are reeling from the losses that are colossi. So now is the time to strike. Whilst the kingdom is too strong for the Iron Republic, still the Templar Church and Free States are of a similar size to your growing army. Strike now, destroy their home cities, and strike a blow to the very heart of King Lionel and his allies. Cool. Do I have to use a colossal? Because if so, I'm prepared for that now. All right. Do I have do I have an army, or do I just have the Iron Giant again? Uh, I've got Siege Engine. Yeah, I can buy dudes again. Some of them. Oh, hang on. Five. Where's the... Where do you just go? There he is. Buy the archers so I can shoot at people with from far, because it's fun. <coughs> oh, by the way. Uh... So yeah, I'm conquering just both of these places. Alright. I will completely ignore you then, Baron Wolfgang, as I go for your base. To claim it for myself. I want to see how much the Colossus Mastery affects my Iron Giant now. Oh jeez, they're just floating. <laughs> um, It's got 275 health now, so every upgrade is 25 more health. And maybe a bit more damage? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, Ray's dead! Let's give myself some more troops. It's a shame it's only light infantry, but maybe there is, like... I guess maybe it bounces out a little bit. If I could get more archers, just have a, a massive army of them. Oh, three of them. Okay. May have run out of space. The fat kids! No! You betrayed me. Jeez, those sound effects. They sort of bounce between the headphones for some reason. Weird. Ten troops killed. Three troops killed. Alright, send in the light infantry. Take them out! Blah! Okay, there we go. A few archers left. Two troops killed. Alright. Uh, let's send them in again. Normal attack against Spiritcles. Take them out. Okay. They're both at an even level now. My Iron Giant and Spiritcles. Only one archer remains on their side. Very well. Send in the Iron Giant. Take out the Braxis Cavalry. Hmm. I only did some damage. Uh, what am I at for magic? 139. Okay. Uh, let's go for the Bull Strike. Summon Critters. Take out some of their heavy and cavalry troops. Okay. Normal attack. Hey, Brute Squad destroyed. Alright, just the cavalry left. We've got some arrows for him. To keep getting some injuries in. Go for a normal attack with our cavalry, I think. Good. Yep. Get some damage on Spherecles and don't die yourself. That's great. That is wonderful. Nice. Uh, bring back some more dead people. 17 Republican guards. My army keeps growing. All this time, King Leonel held me back from the source of necromancy. 
But now I have lived with it. But I see the true essence of strength lies in it. Okay, well, only two Hercules remains. Let's send in the iron, our new and improved Iron Giant. Oh, he's doing a much better job already. Yes! There we go. And there goes Baron Wolfgang. Alright. Oh, Sir Belgrave, I'm coming for you. Let's go straight for his base. Uh, tick field. There's a whole lot more troops in there than it may seem. Hit the wall. I missed. Yay! <laughs> that makes it so much easier, Jesus. Alright. Start off. Uh, raise dead. Oh, there's only three troops. Oh, damn it. Wait, did I get more troops from that? Like, did... Did raising troops somehow come back into, like, human beings and now they've become, like, actual crew members? It feels like it. I don't know. Alright, let's go in for an airstrike. Spice things up a little bit. Death from above! Scattered the bodies. None shall stand in our way. Ooh. Okay, let's go for a normal attack against their cavalry. So I have seen a little bit of the Redux version, by the way, from what Oliver's teased on his YouTube channel at Whiskey Barrow Studios. Um, and there are a few changes they're making. They're including some things from various amounts of the other Sword and Sandals games. Like, there's mini games in it from Sword and Sandals 4, almost. Um, they're also including the jousting mini game from Medieval. So there is a whole lot more content being put in there to kind of spice things up a bit, which I like. I do wonder how the story's going to be, though. I imagine it'll be the same story, but, like... Hmm. I do hope, after playing through what I've, I've seen today, that they do maybe try and even out some of it a bit, because... Good lord, I feel like the game kind of needs it a bit. You know, honestly. Oh no! The dogs! The hounds of holiness! He's taking out our ghost dudes. How dare you. And our ghosty boys! I shall send them at you cautiously. It took no damage whatsoever. But you only killed one guy, so that's not too bad. That's okay. We'll just keep raining down hellfire. I think that's some of your heavy infantry. Go for a normal attack then. Get your one light troop. You just sent that man to death. I don't think there's any contest with that. Okay. Uh, why am I so low at magic? I don't actually know how the, the whole magic system works. I assumed it would just like respawn or like regenerate after a while, but apparently that is not the case. Let's go for a furious attack on the Grail Knight. They're actually doing a pretty good job. Somewhat. Okay. Normal attack with the Iron Giant. Take out the cavalry. One, two. There you go. And he didn't even take any damage. What wonderful news. I, I can only assume from this point, though, that when I played this before, I had actually invested some level in my Colossus, and that's probably why I was able to beat those ones. But Jesus, like, the fact that if you don't do that, it's, like, really, really difficult to win those fights is crazy. To the point that you're going to roll out in luck to let it win for you. It's quite crazy. Anyway, we did it. Mission complete. Dracondia's churches lie broken and shattered, and the port city of Braxis burns. Wolfgang and Belgrave flee to Fator. The kingdom has become greatly weakened, and the rise of the Iron Republic is now complete. Arise, Lord Helmgard, protector of the common man. Yay! Uh, I'm going to get some more Colossus Mastery before I end up making a mistake. Uh, Fouring of the Frost, Chapter 5. I think we'll make this the last chapter, and then we'll stop for the night. So, uh, when the winter's over and the great man of power's source gateway clears, Boris the Mighty and his Sons of Frost army begin their slow attempt to return to power. A little more than a few dozen families, the clans of the Sons of Frost have been decimated by kingdom forces and waited long to exact their vengeance. Gathering his most loyal warriors, he begins the plot. Okay. Playing is, uh... This guy. <laughs> what was his name again? Uh, Boris the Mighty. That was it, yeah. I literally forgot his name like a few seconds. God. Okay. 
Most of the great warriors of your clan died in the last wars against King Lyono, leaving the Sons of Frost with an army of troops barely out of their childhood years. However, the young men are brave and strong, even if they are unblooded. You must raise an army from amongst their ranks, but beware. For while you are weak, you should avoid King Lyono and the meddlesome He Chaos. Do not get caught up in their war, for you cannot afford the casualties. Raise a campaign army of 30 light infantry, 10 heavies, and 10 archers. Okay. Oh, I can do that, Cap'n. Don't you worry. I will try my best. I assume I have nothing to my name right now, then, most likely. He's, he's just, he's already approaching me. He can't beat me to a bloody pulp unless he gets closer. Um, right, so let's get some archers to start with. Have they got no troops at all? I had one. <laughs> uh, is it maybe because, like, in case I get in combat, they need to make sure I have a troop to actually get engaged in combat with? Is that how that works, maybe? I don't know. Okay. I think we're just going to try and take out as much land as possible for the moment. Mass some some amount of money and in income. Oh. Uh, this doesn't look very good. Uh, maybe I could win with... Raise dead? There you go. <laughs> now I have troops. I have 24 of them. Oh, God. Oh. Oh! Oh no! My ass! You got the archer? Yes! <laughs> Alright, let's raise another army. Oh my god, I'm just getting troops now. Ah, you have a measly five live in light infantry. Boris said. Uh, Boris said. He chaos said. And now all of a sudden I've got all these spectral beings. Alright, men, lay havoc. Take him out. Leave none standing. Jesus. Alright. I begin to think the raised dead ability is really good. I don't know why, though. It feels a bit weird. Anyway, that has made a bit of a dent in my plans. Now I'm going to need to get the, the troops I lost back. Which is not going to be fun. Especially when I'm losing land as well. I'll take... Take this one, though, because you haven't claimed it. With a little flag. Okay, and let's buy some more troops. So, what are we going to buy? Uh, they actually do carry over? Are you kidding me? So, if I resurrect troops in a battle, and they stay alive, I get them. And then I can sell them back for money? Dude, that's crazy. What? That is ridiculously good. Maybe a bit broken as well. Okay, 10 heavy infantry. Well, I can sell some of the troops I don't need from my light infantry now to buy them, can't I? Can I sell any more? Hang on. Okay, that's, we'll do that for now. Just gonna wander into your land like you don't even own it. Because you don't. I own it now. What about again? <laughs> just, sure, yeah, just walk through with all this. That, that generally seems a little bit overpowered. The fact I could just keep the resurrected troops. And now, oh, and now I owe most of fate to our power. Hey! Oi! You. Get out of my... Get your, get your bloody grabby hands out of my kingdom. Back you go. Okay. Uh, buy one of those. Uh, buy four of you. Now I just need a bunch of archers. Okay. Uh, I think one more turn should be okay. Oh god, I'm what? I'm five coins short. Right, screw it. I'm gonna dig for gold. Don't free light infantry die in the accident. Great, wonderful. Uh, yeah. What about it? get out of there? Now I've lost even more men, so I'm gonna get even more money to pay for the other men you have just killed to make up for it. Now you stole stolen Shackleford again. 
You son of a gun. Get out of my way. This is my land. You stay in your little corner of the world and think about what you've done. Okay. Stop archers. Okay. Oh god, I've bought too many. Uh, that should be fine though. Just move. Hey! A mighty bonfire raises up, sending sparks into the night. Before you stands an army of young sons of frosts. So a seen battle, and some may not survive to see their next birthday, but it is enough for you to begin your assault in the kingdom. Go forth, Bors the Mighty. Alright, uh, let's go. I guess we'll go for more Raise the Dead. Archery and summon critters. I didn't see the point of going for any more siege upgrades, because it just seems like the... It seems like the walls to their castles are just, like, the same level. And currently I can one-shot it, so... Yeah, you know, maybe I... Maybe I'll leave it alone. I don't think there's any reason to do it. <clears throat> Alright. Um, the others of your people often tell stories of mighty Gaiax. 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 Uh, a Cyclopean brute who once roamed the mountains of the north and was a kindred to the ancestors of the Sons of Frost. Gaiax apparently went on to become a champion in the arena at Eldor Half, killing many foes before eventually losing his eye in battle. If you can find Gaiax's eye and return to him, he may join your army. You can do that. <laughs> Maybe like necromancy. But, fair play, whatever. Uh, find it in the swamp land in 20 turns. Where is the nearest swamp? Where's the nearest swamp? There's there's swamp. Missif swamp. Is there anything around here? Bog stench. Maybe it's just down from the castle. Nope. Fields. Okay. I mean, these missions are pretty simple. As long as you're not an idiot and you know what you're looking for, I feel like you'll be alright. Uh, right. Dig. Not there either. Alright. Where else could this swamp be? Dank heart. Oh! Oh! That seems like the perfect place a Shrek would live. One of his eyes are there. No, it's not in Dank heart. Weird. Yeah, it was like the perfect place. Um. Veil. Veil of Shadows. Yes, yeah, seems like... I think that's the last place, actually. I don't think there's any other spots. No. Okay, I guess the Veil of Shadows is probably where it's at then. Give it to me! There it is. I discovered his eye in the Veil of Shadows. The most edgiest part of Brandor. Deep in the Veil of Shadows, your men located to retrieve the Eye of Gaix. Still unharmed, it takes ten men to roll it back to Warmhaven. You travel to Gaix's cave, where the blind Cyclops has been moping about in misery. Delighted to have its eye back, he swears allegiance to the Sons of Frost and joins your army. I don't think that's how eyes work. I don't think it just comes out and you can put it back in again. Despite what a bunch of the, the cartoons and stuff say. I really don't think that's what it says. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, maximize the Colossus again. The Merchantile, and you get that as well. What if we get fear? I want to try fear and see what that's like. With Gaix on side, your army sweeps out of Warmhaven and begins its conquest of Brandor. However, your timing is awful, for an Everlord has also begun his attack. The dreaded Emperor Antares has left Eldor half, an undead army at his command. Realizing that your army is still the weakest in the realm, Antares is sure to strike at you first. You must conquer key provinces in the realm before he reaches Warmhaven, for if he attacks, surely you will fall. Conquer the provinces of Gunteria, Shackleford, Dankhart, and Skuldan. Warmhaven must not fall. Okay. So Antares is now here. And he's in the furthest corner of the world. Because no one likes him. Uh, can I buy troops? I can. Okay. In case I need to defend myself. I'll buy it anyways. Just so I've got the money. Just because I have the money. Sorry. That's what I should have said. Uh, okay. Uh, provinces of Gunteria. Where's Gunteria? Gunteria's right behind me. Okay. There's one. Uh, Shackleford? Shackleford's there. Shackleford's Skulden. Yeah, I think we just start going in this direction. 
I know dank carts to cause down here. So how, how, how would you forget such an amazing place like Dankhart, you know? It was impossible. Uh, okay, we go. keep moving the shack. Is he going to go straight to my my place? I think he might. Okay, stop for now. I can always teleport back if I need to. Uh, where's Skolden? That's Skolden. It's the one in the corner surrounded by troops. Okay, he's still stuck. He's moving backwards. Cool, he doesn't, he doesn't know how to walk forwards for the green area. That's exactly what I need. Okay. Oh no. He's got he's got Fergal Heart. Not Fergal Heart. Uh I'm not gonna take a risk of this. We're so close to winning this one. Alright, let's uh let's just summon their wives. Right away. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Of course he has raised dead. See, I don't think his troops have morale, if I recall. I, I'm just... I, I'm trying to remember if it was this game or it was uh, Pirates where they have no morale. They, they can lose morale, apparently. Like, I don't know if it's doing anything. Nice. Alright. Can I hit anything, anything else? I could raise dead myself, but uh, I don't think there's any point. I think I'm just going to send Gaix in again. It was mighty 375 HP. No chance. I like how his um, his cavalry are called the uh, the arena champions though. And fallen gladiator. It's it's literally him resurrecting like the gladiators of the co the um, Colosseum he ran in Sun Sandals 2. That's very really cute. Okay. That's one for us. Always oh, almost at Warmhaven. Uh, please don't attack it. Oh, thank God. Okay, I thought he said, like, he attacked it. I was like, oh, Jesus. It is a great day for the Sons of Frost. Riding swiftly across Brando, you capture strategic points in the north, south, east, and west. Better still, you have faced Antares and survived. His dark gaze turns elsewhere to his true enemies, Lionel of Fator and Belgrave of Trachondia. Good. He thinks we're weak. That's good. We'll use that to our advantage. Uh, right. Weaponsmith. I still don't know what it does. I bought armor as well. I didn't buy that. Again, it would be helpful to know what they all did. Maybe, hopefully something they can do in the, um, the Redux. Just kind of give a bit more information regarding all this stuff. Because otherwise I have no clue. Antares continues his march across Brandor, destroying lands and causing carnage wherever he goes. This, however, is not your problem. Good way to approach it. Your ranks are growing and you need farms and farmland to support your hungry armies. The best lands seem to be near Braxis, home of King, uh, Kingdom ally Baron Wolfgang. If you could take Braxis from him, you would go a long way defeating your people. Your army has also been bolstered by the news that polar bears have returned to the north, and your army now supports polar barbarians. Yay! Global warming has not killed them yet. They are still alive and they're fighting for us. I guess Antares is still doing his Antares things. Okay, uh, how much do I have for troops? Ten archers, still got the, the colossal. Ten of you, five of you, and eight polar bears. Cool. Uh, I need to... Do I need to amass a, a thing? <laughs> a thing? Yeah, so I need to amass a... Yeah, I need to amass a siege engine. So I need to get some money. Oh, the money, the money. Money! Sorry. Okay. Baron! Oh, God's sake, Baron. Can't believe the the rudeness of you. Very well, let me make a siege engine and raid your friggin' base. 47%? I don't care, that's enough. Boom. Missed. Boom. There you go, done. Uh, oh god, a bunch of my guys died, though. You still have spherically's. 
Uh, the, the wife attack? Summon critters? The wife attack. What a name for me to give it. Guys, I should probably stop using that attack for the simple case of the sound really messing with me. It like plays in varying volumes in both my headphones. It's, it's really odd. Um, okay, let's use Gaiax with a null attack. Take out the brute squad. One, two, three! They're all gone. And he took no damage, which is wonderful. It's wonderful! Okay. And send in our heavy troops now. A ferocious attack. Oh god, it's against Spheric, please. Weaken him down at least. Some damage. We still lost them all, though. Okay. Uh, oh, but I can raise a new army. <laughs> Just 28 more troops. This is the thing, right? Like, Boards the Might was complaining about not having enough troops to keep it all going. But here we are with the power of Necromancy. He's just got an entire army just like that. Heal army? Three soldiers are healed. Mm. How do you know? How do you know which ones are injured? Do you have to like highlight them or something? Um. Okay. Oh no. It says how many are healthy, how many are dead, how many are injured. Uh. So, they the two that I have left are injured. Okay. So I guess it just. I'm guessing it just like affects their stats or something. How that all works? Again, still have no idea. Uh, Ferocious. Go on, Gax. Take out all these cavalrymen. Gax, you're doing a re. Gax, you did a horrible job then. You didn't do any damage. You know, you hurt them, I guess. I guess you did something, but you also took a lot of damage in return. Which is not the best. Send in our undead troops. Take out that one guy. Okay. Gonna keep it going with another normal attack against their cavalry. There we go, now we're getting rid of some of them. Cracks us down the show a bit and the damage we dealt. Okay, um, it's 60. I don't think I can re resurrect any more troops, so I'm gonna keep it going for now. Especially because I didn't find any stalls out in the turn. Yeah, I think I save up for a stronger attack with my magic. Unless I like start losing all my light infantry, then maybe I will raise dead again to get them all back. The archer's doing a nice job though. Send in the heavy troops with a ferocious attack. Oh, I only have one. Oh no! <laughs> he just got squashed. Oh, poor dude. Okay, there goes more of the troops. Let's send in our polar bear barbarians. Maybe we take out these guys. There we go. That's only spherically's remaining. Rain death from above. Oh, I did injure him. Cool. Okay, let's send them in again. Maybe they'll take him out. Who knows? Yeah, wow. They're actually going to do it. Hey, good on you guys. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful. Okay, Cruise Provinces were conquered. Praxis falls easily under the might of Gaiax and your newfound polar barbarian troops. With both getting away in the Kingdom Lands, you are able to pillage his farmland and crops, gathering enough supplies to feed your people for many months. Good on ya. Very good on ya. Um, you'll go leadership and armor. In case morale becomes a big problem. I mean, that's how I'd want to approach it. I want to make sure everyone's in high spirits for all this. I mean, I mean they say, as uh, I guess it's a saying somewhere, um, that your troops must be properly motivated if they're willing to sacrifice their lives. So maybe that's the case here. Who knows? Everything is in place. The kingdom has been weakened with a fail of Braxis. Long have you waited to exact revenge on King Lionel. Your army has grown. Your Colossus Gaiax is proving unstoppable. And your battle lust grows. Antares is still best avoided, but your feud with Sir Belgrave and the Temple of Church have not been forgotten either. Destroy the Pious Fool and his campaign army. Then turn to the Lion Kingdom and defeat King Lionel on the field of battle. Okay, de defeat both King Lionel's and Sir Belgrave's campaign armies. 
So that's not the strongholds, that's just them. Antares is doing Antares things, because Antares is the worst, as we all know. Do I actually have much of an army yet? That's, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I... Mm, we have the same army as each other, like, literally... <laughs> literally, character to character, we have the exact same army. God, this game took seven months to... Did it really take seven months? That's actually really quick. Now, <laughs> do we know that Oliver Joyce was like the early precursor of the Scott Cawthorn? Let's use fear. Nobody's frightened. <laughs> I forgot it was level one. All right, that was a, bit of a waste of a, a good spell. Can you get some good archery shots? Six troops killed, four injured. Five troops injured. Okay, no one died. Cool. Uh... I'm going to be patient for now with my magic. Let's go for a ferocious attack. They literally all give the finger. Are you kidding me? And like, what was the age ring in this game? I don't know how far crew jokes go like that. Especially if it's like on a small little pixelated man model almost, you know? But god damn, they are literally all giving us the finger. Was that even... Was that even a thing back in the medieval days? I don't know. The gladiatorial days. <sighs> Maybe back in those days as well, people would teabag and do the Fortnite dance. Who knows? You never know. Oh. Oh god, no, we're taking some serious damage, our blue raiders. Okay, let's send in the Polar Barbarians. Take out your heavy troops as well. If you can take out our heavies, let's take them out of yours. There you go. That will treat you, son of a gun. Okay. Sure, let's lose your leadership, why not? We shall make bread from their bones. Inspired by plus seven morale. I, I assume that's really good. You get a lot of troop kills. Fanatical, fanatical, fanatical. They're all really happy about it. So, should mean they stay in high spirits. Maybe do more de plus two health to help actually. Maybe Gaius is stronger because of the morale boost. Okay, at least he got some of them this time. <laughs> It's not, a, it's not a, a repeat of last battle. He's actually killing some people now. It's good. Alright. Uh, I am real on magic. So I think I'll send these guys in for a normal attack. Oh, against the archers. I'll say goodbye to your, your archers. <laughs> I don't think there's any real strategy on that. Now you're missing out on some chip damage. Like so. Okay. Send them in again with a ferocious attack this time against their berserkers. Finish off the rest of them. Yes, there we go. All sorted. Okay, more troops gone. Send in the blue rays with a ferocious attack. Take out the light infantry. Nice. Guess it's only the cavalry and the archangel, which has not at all done anything yet. So, let's go send in our polar barbarians against their uh, cavalry. One, two, three. Cool. And we open up the playing field for the Archangel that's literally sat there doing absolutely nothing. Alright, Gaiax. Gaiax! Gaiax! Whatever you're called. Wait your turn and then attack him. Stalling out. Alright, here we go. Gax, get him! Take him down! Yes! Oh, that actually got close, though. I like how as soon as I got the Colossus Master, though, everything has been working better in my favor. Uh, I still don't know how to feel about it. It feels like a dependency on that upgrade, you know? It really does. Okay, my army is weakened a bit though, so I might need to, might need to grab more troops, possibly. Let's see what yours is like. 
Yours is taking a bit of a hit too, apparently. I don't know what from. Uh, I don't know. I'll go up to 200 and then I'll buy a bunch of archers. Oh, he's going straight from my base, which I do not like. Do not touch my base. Antares, I would prefer you do not do that when I'm not home. It's incredibly rude. Uh, let's see, where's my ranged troops? Buy a bunch more of those. Rain down hellfire! Oh god, I'm stuck. Sell some of these troops, I think. I'll buy some, uh... I'm gonna buy some more of this. There you go. <laughs> the me. <laughs> Alright. 60% chance. Much better. Take the field. Alright. Let's start with Raised Dead. 22 more Berserker troops have risen from the grave to join the Sons of Frost. And he has one archer as well. And he's dead. That was 12 troops, Jesus. Alright. Um, let's use some inspiration. There you go. Must be properly motivated if they're willing to do all of this. It seems to be paying off greatly, which is very much appreciated. Alright. Bother by Ryan's. Attack. Go against the Berserkers. There they go. Oh wow, <laughs> even the cavalry's dead. All right, Gaix, it's your go. It's your time and oh no, level one. I haven't did anything. But wait, he had, like level five in the the last chapter. Why has he now got weaker ones? That's weird. All right, Gaix, go on, take him out. Your your turn. Show me all the better colossal. There we go. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, alright. Oh, hang on, are you still... Am I still playing? No, okay, no, okay. I was about to say, if I had to take out Antares as well, Jesus, I was not prepared for that. Okay, Belgrave and the Temple of the Church, armies have been scattered to the four winds. Fator lies in ruins, and King Lionel has fled to the last remaining kingdom stronghold of Draconia. The Sons of Frost now have been returned to their former glory, and your descendants will long remember Bors the Mighty. Nice, alright. My legacy grows. I'm gonna buy more fear. Okay, Age of Beasts. Argos looks out into the shiftless deserts of Taj Brand here. Again and again, this beast force has been defeated by superior kingdom troops. The Iron Republic has become a formidable enemy, and the Sons of Frost have risen in north. Two years have passed since Argox fled to the desert lands after delivering the corpse of the slain emperor to the dark priest of Edengarth. Due to the vast incompetence of Hikias, many months from Antares could be resurrected. The delay is set together. Our uh, story continues with Argos receiving battle wounds from Antares. Finally, the Dark Wars have begun. Oh! So my playing is the bad guys now. We're starting off as Arglax. So I assume we're playing as Arglax. Then we're playing as He Chaos. Uh, then I think there's another character in the game we haven't played this year. I can't remember what he's called though. But I assume we're playing as that character at some point, and then maybe we're playing as Antares. I don't know. I would say so because he's still the main enemy, isn't he? I figured we had to kill him, right? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm going to call the stream for that one. I am going to hold on to that until next Sunday. Where we'll play the rest of it. So, yeah. Um, I really did enjoy this still. I, I, despite the really frustrating bits. Um, it's a game for 2007. And it was a free... It, I say it was a free game on, like, Flash sites. You had to buy the full version. Um, but, I don't know. It's a tricky one to look at. Because it's like... Was I just wrong for not buying the upgrades, or was it maybe a bit of a, a bit of a harsh idea on the game to make it so if I didn't buy the upgrade, I would really, really struggle, like to an extent of I have to rely on luck to win and nothing else. I don't know. Balance does seem to be a bit of a problem with this, um, and I really hope that Rob not Oliver watches the stream or not in the future. I, I know he saw my tweet and retweet and everything. Which, by the way, in case you are watching, I really appreciate that. Very kind of you. Um, if he does watch this and consider what I've been saying, um, I really hope the Redux is looked into regarding balance a bit because uh, it was kind of the same thing with Pirates to an extent too. I found there were some bits in there where you can take advantage. Um, it, it, Pirates is somewhat of a different game. It has the Crusader element to it regarding the army and all that stuff. 
Um, but obviously the game itself is much different. But regardless, really hope he takes a look at this. Maybe finds ways to make the combat a bit more fair and balanced, considering the fact that some things seem really good, like fear is ridiculously powerful. Um, and of course, just maybe make it so the story mode, which I'm pretty sure returns in this, is a bit more balanced. Doesn't require the excessive necessary necessity sorry of upgrades you can actually like do it without them which would be friggin' amazing because having to go for those fights not having the upgrade that made it better and struggling really really badly with it kind of sucked so that'd be great and um i think besides that that's really all i need to say about it the rest of it is still really enjoyable i love the team building mechanics um also yeah maybe some descriptions about what the upgrades do would help a lot as well and maybe a reason why morale is important too. I assume it is. Maybe to hold the troops in the battle and not make them flay. But I don't know if there's anything else. So some clarity for the future and so on would be great as well. Just something else to say. But yeah. Um, until then. I hope you all enjoyed this stream. Uh, we'll be playing it again next week. And I'll probably be finishing it. I feel like we've only got a few chapters to go. Considering the fact there's only 9 characters in the game. So we should probably be done with that. And maybe we'll play some survival or something. To finish off the rest of that stream. I don't know. But till then. Hope you all enjoyed. I have been Chaos. You have been the episode on As you always are. Till next time. Remember to do usual. Uh, like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't. <coughs> got, tickle, got tickle in the back of my throat. <coughs> Damn it. Like if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to if you want to see more. Maybe go follow me on Twitter for updates and stuff. Because in case you don't know me by now. Inconsistency is my quality. There's also various links in the description below. My Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon. In case you want to go check those out. I'll also be showing off the Patreon list at the end of the stream. To give a huge thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Really do appreciate it. And most importantly. Of all things ladies and gentlemen. Take care everybody. 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 Sign our. And. Give it for the Patreons. Take care.